There is so much luggage out there on the market today, all sorts of different brands, we've got loads of different products and you know, whilst a lot of the items like you see me using week in week out, is kit that you can just go out there and buy, the way that we use them and what we actually carry in them is quite personal for each angler. A lot of people have asked me what I carry, so this video is really just to show you what I carry and how I carry it. Well first of all, the all important rods. I obviously use ready rod bags. They generally come across all brands in two lengths, 1.6 meters, 1.95, and you know, you'll probably find that whilst the 1.6, 1.65s are very kind of compact and obviously shorter, you might struggle to get some two-piece rods in them. So I always carry the 1.95 length ready rod bags. These are the ones that come with a smart mark system on them. So these that you'll have seen me use are really, these are three meters in length. All you do is just extend those out, put the stakes in each one at each either end and they're three meters apart and that just allows you, it gives you a measuring tool for when you're clipping up when you're feeder fishing. A nice little feature on a product that was already great anyway. The main one that you see me use is the four rod version in here. Two compartments. I've got one compartment here just with one rod in either side. As you can see, you can get up to probably, depending on the reel size and the rods, you can sometimes get two in each one of these. So you can play around with that. So obviously, whilst it's marked up as being able to carry four rods, it can actually carry more than that. Also in this side, I've obviously got spare tips in one of our tip tubes, which helps protect them. Always good to carry them when you're feeder fishing, obviously. On the other side, I've got another rod there, but again, you can get more than one rod in that side. And in here, I have got the four meter power landing net handle. On some venues, I set two landing net handles up. I've got the five and a half meter Horizon X class. That's obviously what I use for most of my fishing, silverfish fishing, five and a half meters long. New rigid feeder arm. I've got the longer feeder arm in case I'm on high banks or I'm fishing on rivers. I've got an alternative feeder rest in case I'm speed fishing. And the two sticks to go with the smart mark system. And that is it. So all my bits there are in one compartment and all the rods are in the other. The other bit of kit you see me use and carry all my bits and bobs in is a tattle and bait bag. I carry this everywhere I go and in here are lots of other little bits of luggage just to try and keep everything organised. So the main compartment the whole thing is insulated so that helps look after your bait and any cold drinks that you might have. It just keeps it nice and fresh and cool. Today's session I'm fishing the pellet waggler so I've got a selection of catapults and that is obviously in a catapult bag. I'm going to be fishing the method feeder today so I've got a selection of method feeders, pellet wagglers. A lot of people see me carrying this this time of year. That is basically cool bag for some nice cold energy drinks. Very important this time of year. Hook lens. This is just a Fox reel case. That's basically all got my bits and bobs in it. Worm scissors, attachments for my box and that sort of thing. Feeder rest. Another attachment. One or two different attachments in there. Accessory bag with some spare hooks in, it's got my licensing and, and um, clicker and that sort of thing. And right in the bottom in the middle is a selection of small feeders. They're just ones that I tend to use across lots of venues, especially when I'm putting a short line in. In the outer compartments, in this one I've got some ready rod wraps, just spare ones in case you know I'm setting rods up or whatever or I lose any. A couple of snacks in there, it's always good to carry stuff like that on some venues, it can be a long time after the match before you actually get back home. So there's just some snacks in there. And in this side, there is the suntan cream, it's always good to carry that this time of year. And the drop bucket, and that's in there. These things are always here, so I don't have to worry about it when I'm going to a match. Certainly on a venue that I might not know too much about, if I do need these things, as we all know, time can be very, very important when you're setting up. And by doing things like this in a uniform manner, you know they're always there and exactly where they are when you need them. The other main bit of kit is the Ethos Pro bait bag. As you'd expect from any bait bag, this is insulated. That's to keep everything as fresh as it possibly can be. I use the compact bait system that a lot of you have seen me using. As you can see, 
that fits perfectly in the top of this bag so it's an ideal way of carrying it in there obviously this system that's a cover to protect your bait when it's on your side tray i've got a selection of smaller tubs because when you've got lots of different baits you don't want them to take up too much room on your side tray these are also measuring tubs as well these are all marked up that's two pints for example so these are great measuring tools obviously got a hand towel in there and in the bottom again i've got some larger bait tubs just to make sure i'm all right for every session and that's obviously all extra space to put my bait in like ground bait or pellets or whatever i've got with me and obviously with it being in this bag it will keep it nice and fresh in the outer compartment all I carry in there is a selection of bait bags. Got some larger ones for the ground bait and just rubbish. And these are for any baits that you might want to bag up and take home. It's always, always important to take your rubbish home with you. And in this extra little bit here, I've got the stakes for the casting mat. And that is it. They're always there. This is always the same, this system. So no matter what venue I'm going to, I know I've got everything and exactly how it all packs away. Just by staying organised, it just means that when you're going from venue to venue, sometimes you're taking kit out and putting an extra kit in. With things like this, these you should be pretty much uniform about, you know, whatever venue you go to, obviously your baits and that sort of thing. Sometimes your rods will vary, obviously. But things like your bait and the other bits of luggage that you carry, just by staying organised, you just know that you've got everything with you on every session and in preparation for every session that you go on is just going to be a lot less hassle and ultimately that should make you enjoy your fishing a hell of a lot more.